Hi Akram, this is Brian Farrell from Aqueous Solutions LLC. Uh, I want to show you how to add um, add entries to your thermal data sets. So there's this entry, uh, HGCO3, it's an aqueous species from the Thermo Mintech data set. And you want to add that to thermo.com.v8.r6plus.dat. Um, so I'll just, I'll just uh, explain a little bit about uh, what this entry in the thermal data set means. So this is the entire entry for HGCO3. Uh, it's a neutral species. Uh, this, these are related to calculating activity coefficients, uh, the molecular weight you enter here. And then here's a reaction for the entry. Uh, keep in mind, GWB uses reactions, um, reaction data sets. You read the reaction by placing anything with a negative coefficient on the left side of the reaction with the entry. So that's HgCO3 uh, plus 2H2O equals 2H plus plus 1 HgOH2 plus 1 carbonate. And this reaction is written in terms of the original basis species of the data set. That's H plus HgOH2, H2O, and carbonate. Um, it's a little easier to understand in RxN. So I'll make sure I'm in Thermo Mintech. And I'll balance the reaction for HgCO3. These are those uh, default basis species we we're looking at. I can move to results and click run. And like I said, here's the reaction. Uh, H2O was uh, it had a negative coefficient, so it's on the left. And this is how the reaction reads. Uh, now going back to the data set. Uh, we see this uh, grid of uh, eight values. So this is a grid of equilibrium constants at eight different temperatures. And these temperatures, I'll show you right here. I'll expand the results. And these temperatures range from zero degrees to 100 degrees. Um, now we can't, we can't just take this, this entry and throw them in tech and copy it into thermo.com. Uh, there's there's two problems with that, or at least two. I'll I'll talk about two right now. Um, because the the data sets are different. Thermo Mintech goes from zero to one hundred degrees. Uh, thermo.com goes from zero to three hundred. So if you were to uh, paste a value into here, um, <clears throat> the the temperatures wouldn't match up. And they're also written in terms of different basis species. They both use H2O and H+, but Thermomintech uses carbonate, uh, Thermo.com uses bicarbonate, and Thermomintech uses HgOH2, while Thermo.com uses Hg2+. So we need to take some steps um, to take our, our data from Thermomintech and make it in a form that's usable by Thermo.com. What we need to do is to rebalance the reaction in terms of the basis species used by Thermo.com. So we'll replace HgOH2 with Hg2+. Uh, and we'll replace carbonate with bicarbonate. So we just perform basis swaps. We'll move to the results pane. This was the original reaction as it's written in Thermo.com. Thermo Mintech. I'll click Run, and this is the reaction in the new form, the way we want it for Thermo.com. You'll see the equilibrium constants have been rewritten. Uh, so that's great news for us. I'll go to Run at the top, and choose Block and Overwrite, and this will um, copy information to to the clipboard. Uh, the information we will need to add to our new thermo data set. And I'll show you what that looks like by uh, pasting it right in here. So this is uh, the data set format, HGCO3, uh, written in terms of the basis species, uh, HG2 plus and HCO3 minus, necessary to put in uh, thermo.com. But keep in mind, these equilibrium constants go from 0 to 300, 
uh, 0 to 100. Um, and there's one more thing to note. Our source data, it says delta H is not known, so the equilibrium constant is only known at 25 degrees. That's this reaction right, this, this entry right here. Uh, that's the only good data point. So what we need to do is take this value for um, for 25 degrees, and um, that's our our only good value. Everything else we'll set to 500.0000. Uh, the 500 means that uh, the data is the equilibrium constant is unknown at that temperature. So this, this probably should be like this in Thermomintech, but um, they just assume that the equilibrium constant doesn't change the temperature. Um, but keep in mind, these are this is um, the Thermomintech data set. This third entry is 25 degrees. Um, in thermo.com, 25 is in the second place, so we need to replace that. And now we can take this value, this entry, add it to thermo.com. Uh, what I've done, I've created a space um, under the aqueous species section, uh, and it's just in alphabetical order. So I'll add it there. And now we have a, uh, an entry for aqueous HgCO3 valid at 25 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> written in terms of the basis species used by uh, thermo.com. So I'll go ahead and save this data set. Uh, I'll just save it to the desktop. And um, we'll call it thermo.com VR6 plus um, with HGCO3. So you can go ahead and save that. And now you can load <clears throat> load this in Act 2 or RxN. Um, we'll do that in RxN right now. So reset, clear. So we start with a blank slate, and now we'll open a data set. This is the one we just made. Now I can find the aqueous species, HG, C3 aqueous. And now it's written in terms of our default basis species. And it has a value that's good at 25 degrees Celsius and only 25. So that's just what you want. So that's how you rewrite a reaction and add it to a different data set. So, hope that helps.